Guess what? Our calendar highlight has always been the Property Show Signature Bus Tour, which has become the perfect matchmaking platform for many looking to get onto the property ladder. Last week, we highlighted ideal investment options on the vibrant, thicker road route. Today, we switch gears and explore some hotspots in Nairobi's chic suburbs of Kilimani and Lavington neighborhoods. So I think owning a house sometimes, it's, just, it's this really, really big thing. You don't know where to start and people sometimes are a bit scared. So by then, when you come for the bus tour, I think you, you're able to see different houses in different price ranges, what's available, even it also helps you furnish your home. On the expert segment, we'll unravel the financial and legal jargon to consider before signing the dotted line. There may be very many costs that may be implied over and above the purchase price that people may not be aware of. So the advocate can just break that down for you. Just look for a good financer that can work with you all the journey. Our home ownership journey brings the bus tour to the core with a homeowner who started her journey at the property show Signature Bus Tour. Definitely go for the bus tour. It opens up your mind. You have access to areas you hadn't thought about. We went to quite a number of properties that, uh, that day. We got to meet the developers on the ground and I got some contacts and then I made sure I followed up on that. We'll also catch up with Nairobi's newest home accessories outlet with their concierge services. Drop your comments and questions on our social media handles and let's talk. As always, there is something for everyone. In our just concluded signature bus tour, our second route took us to one of the most sought after neighborhoods of Kilimani and Lavington area. I must say, there has to be something about the Lavington Kilimani area creating this skyrocketing demand. Situated approximately four kilometers off the Nairobi CBD, the upmarket area is an affluent neighborhood that includes Kilimani and Lavington. The area has evolved over the years hosting the most affluent neighborhoods of Nairobi City, prestigious schools, shopping malls and several embassies. Shopping malls include the Yaya Center, Prestige Plaza, The Junction and the Lavington Shopping Center. Hospitals include Gertrude's Children's Hospital, Nairobi Hospital, Nairobi Women's Hospital. Schools include Braben Schools, Kavina School, Riara Group of Schools, Light Academy, Kenton College Preparatory School, and Kilileshwa Academy. Let's find out some of the key driving factors of this neighborhood. Good transport networks, tight security with high presence of sovereign territories, including embassies, exclusive residential communities. I guess this neighborhood is a hotspot because it's close to everything. If this describes your perfect neighborhood, then sit back and enjoy the tour. First, a development of three and four bedroom apartments with spacious lounge come dining area, well fitted with a balcony, modern kitchen and state-of-the-art finishes, brick apartments. Let's find out more on this apartment. The 
Brick Apartment is located off Awings Kodak Road, Nairobi. This property boasts of state-of-the-art finishes and consists of three and four all-en-suite bedrooms. This development is strategically located less than 10 kilometers from Nairobi CBD. Accommodation features include spacious lounge come dining area, guest cloakroom, open plan kitchen, dry night countertops, pantry area, three and four all-en-suite bedrooms, master bedroom opening to a balcony, bathtub in master bedroom, spacious wardrobes, DSQ. Salient features include 24-hour security guard, surveillance cameras, high-speed lifts, borehole, backup generator, gym, swimming pool, and internet connection. Next, Crest Park Apartments. These modern two and three bedroom apartments are known for putting family at the core of its setup. Here is more. Park is the landmark of Kilimani, as you can see. It's uh, strategically located, so it's just near our center, just some few meters from here. And then, uh, if you want to like catch a bus to Westland, so there is a bus station here. The amenities that we have here: we have the uh, swimming pool, we have that beautiful landscaping outside, yeah, with the children play area. And then we have like uh, two basement parking, so parking is enough for everybody. Currently we have uh, sold all the two bedrooms. The two bedrooms were 24 in total, we sold all of them. So now we are remaining with around uh, around maybe 20, 25, three bedrooms, yeah? Yes, so in total we have 120 units. There are five blocks, we have block A, we have B, this is C, this is the king block, the middle one, yeah? Yeah, so there are like two apartments on one floor, so your privacy and security is guaranteed. And then you can see like at the main door there, you have to use a card in order to access the, the, the lift and this block. Crest Park Apartments. Located in Kilimani, Nairobi, this apartment is positioned in a secure, quiet and friendly neighborhood. The apartments are along Dennis Street Road off Ring Road Kilimani and close to Lavington Security Head Office. The property is close to Yaya Shopping Centre and 4 km drive from the Nairobi CBD. Accommodation includes spacious living room with a large sliding door that opens up to the balcony, dining area, open plan kitchen with granite top fitted with MDF storage space, self-contained DSQ, Dolby area, guest cloakroom, two ensuite bedrooms with fitted wardrobes, master ensuite with two fitted wardrobes and a shower cubicle, gypsum ceiling with down lighters, wallpapers in each room and ceramic tiles. with superior beautiful functional layouts, spacious surfaces with large windows and premium fittings, showered apartments. Let's have a look. Sherwood Apartments. Located at Riara Close of Riara Road are these modern, beautifully finished apartments. Sherwood Apartments boast a total of 72 executive apartments, 37 apartments of three bedroom, 2,280 square feet, 27 apartments of three bedroom, 2,334 square feet with master balcony and eight apartments of executive four bedroom duplex apartments, 3,818 square feet. Accommodation features include 
spacious lounge opening to the balcony, separate dining area, kitchen with pantry, dobe area, three and four bedrooms all en suite. Salient features include 24 hours security service, perimeter wall with electric fence, street lights, carbro surfaced driveways and parking bays, community center, children's playground, swimming pool, gym, borehole facility, lifts, solar water heaters, and backup generator for common areas. What's the experience of spending a day on the property show signature bus tour? First, we've got you covered with hearty meals and snacks along the way. Secondly, interactions and networking with like-minded prospective buyers. Thirdly, getting a developer's personal perspective. Plus an opportunity to visit many ideal investment options we would otherwise not know about. And finally, financial insights and legal advice from experts on board. Let's get a participant's experience of the day. Basically, I wanted uh, to look at the market trends. Because being in the industry, uh, you can only know about the market trends if you join the bus tour. I can say uh, generally my expectations have been met because we do not go for one property. We've gone to different uh, properties and these different properties, each developer has given his own taste. So the tests, I can say they are totally different depending on the location of the property and uh, the packaging of the property depending on the developer. We had people from the legal and people from the banking industry. And uh, generally, they managed to give us information about uh, the transaction and the processing of uh, the property for somebody who is acquiring a property. My expectations were to know how do I go about owning a home. So there's so many houses, so many developments around Nairobi, but then, you know, like you have to know a lawyer, like there's just so much going on. So I was hoping that um, coming here, it will be able to be broken down into smaller chunks that are digestible, and I would know where to start um, in the process of actually owning a home. So I'm on this side, and I want to get to the side where I have keys to my own house. So what, is, what does that look like? Uh, what is available in different price ranges and what is the offering in Nairobi when it comes to housing. I've had so many horror stories of people being, you know, swindled here and there. So coming here, at least you, there's, a, there's some maturity. I think of interest to me was legal because it's just usually like, yeah. So having the person explain like, so what is in the contract? So I've seen a couple, but just understanding how the pricing is. So what do you pay the lawyers? Is it a percentage of the home? And then if a house, let's say, is 20 million, there's other costs attached to it. So like legal fees, land fees, such, like there's so many things that you have to pay. And I think that was an, I think an eye opener. Also to understand how do you ensure that your, I think your investment is secured. So I think owning a house sometimes, it's just, it's this really, really big thing. You don't know where to start and people sometimes are a bit scared. So but then when you come for the bus tour, I think you, you're able to see different houses in different price ranges what's available, even it also helps you furnish your home because most of them also have like different show houses with different furnishings. So if you want to own a home, I would suggest just come um, for the bus tour because they have different experts who will guide you through the process. Even when you don't find something within your price range, you'll go back to First Avenue and just get something within your range. Then you start the process because it's just about starting. So, and it's very, it's affordable. Um, they offer breakfast, lunch, so at least during the day you're, you're comfortable as you go through different houses.
Last week, we started a conversation on a new home accessories outlet. Today, we get to hear everything about their niche services. Karibu sana on the show and thank you for having us and congratulations on this beautiful shop. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you for having me on your show. What's different in this shop? Well, uh, it's my shop, so I think everything's different, obviously. <laughs> but um, what I say is that this is a shop where you can find one-of-a-kind items. Uh, as you look around, you're not going to find these same items in 10 other shops. So it's really a store where people come if they want something that's going to be different and accentuate their home. Let's talk about interior design as a whole. If I'm looking for an interior designer, what questions should I ask my interior designer and how do I engage an interior designer? One of the first things to do when you're engaging an interior designer is to have an idea of kind of the color scheme that you're after. Um, most interior designers will start with a mood board. Um, and a mood board just gives you an idea of how the space will look in terms of color, in terms of texture, what the floor will look like, what the painting on the, uh, on the walls will look like. So that's usually the first place. Have an idea of what are you looking for? Because the interior designer can't read your mind and has no idea of what you like and what you don't like. So that's really one of the first places to start. From there, we move on to actually picking out pieces for you um, to accentuate your, your home. A lot of people feel that using an interior designer is very expensive. And all of us feel we, we can also do our own interior design since I know a yellow and blue goes well, so I think I can do it. What would you advise people at home who want to a chic look, who, who don't think they have enough money, who don't think they want to do everything today? What would you advise uh, somebody at home watching us today? I've always been the kind of person, I do one room at, at a time, piecemeal, because it, it can be just uh, overwhelming if you're trying to redo your entire house at once. Um, especially areas like bathrooms and kitchens can become very expensive. So start very small. Uh, just color on the wall can transform a space or wallpaper on a wall can transform a space. So that's probably where I would start with the biggest part of a room, which is usually your walls, and change that first. Sit with that for a while as you try to figure out what do I want to do next. For example, if it's a couch uh, or a, or a area rug. rug that you want to put in, and look around for colors that obviously are uh, complement what you've put on the wall or are in the same uh, vein as what you've put on the wall. If I'm looking for a Nancy to help me, break down how you'd help me make sure that I get exactly the transformation I'm looking for. Well, we have a concierge service basically where you would uh, book an appointment and we can come to your home, look around, take some measurements, but also really try to get a feel of who are you, the client, and what are you trying to do? What are you trying to achieve in a space? Uh, and then slowly move to, is it the walls you want to start with, or do you want to start with the floors, or do you want to start even with the ceiling? Um, do you need a new sofa, or do we just have to recover the current, you know, the sofa that you're using. So it's th things like that that we're able to do with you, very small bite side size pieces, because I know it can get very overwhelming if you're trying to do a whole room at once. So first you listen to me, Yes. what do I want? Yes. Secondly, you provide me a mood board. Yes. Thirdly, will you help me pick the pieces from various uh, we outlets? Will, yes, we will source for you, whether it's local pieces or um, if you want to bring in pieces from abroad. So we can source the, uh, the material for you, we can source wallpaper for you, we can even source furniture for you. And uh, of course, uh, you can come to this, the shop and pick some items from our shop. Nancy, it sounds exciting. How has that journey been? It's been a dream that I've had for a long time and it's now coming to fruition and I'm really excited. Um, any journey is exciting, uh, you know, when you first start out. There are obviously hiccups, but um, it's something that I really enjoy. I love, I love doing it, so it doesn't even feel like work. Being in your shop, a lot of your pieces are very unique and different. Where exactly are you picking your pieces from? 
I've co been collecting uh, pieces from all over the world. I have some pieces here that are from just down the road in Nairobi. I have other pieces that are from uh, Thailand. I have some pieces from Singapore. So I try to collect, especially when it comes to fabric that, that has texture and color. I try to collect fa fabric from all over the world. And that really gives uh, things a unique uh, feel to them, especially if you're uh, reupholstering a piece of furniture or just even cushion covers. So I've been collecting for a while. Um, I used to live in the States uh, for some time, so I've also collected some things from there. The newest Homes Accessories Outlet is your solution for a wide range of antique and contemporary style themes, making your interior design fun and fulfilling. We are taking a short break. We'll be back with more highlights of ideal investment options in the bustling upmarket area and much, much more. Keep it property shape. Quality housing is a need that every Kenyan has. Banda Homes takes pride in providing affordable, functional, and modern housing in line with the government's big four agenda. Banda Homes develops not just houses, but homes, and provides our clients with the safety, security, and lifestyle that comes with home ownership in a gated community. All of our projects are developed with our clients' needs in mind, therefore ensuring that every individual is catered for. Our housing estates from inception to delivery take between 12 and 15 months. Oak Park Estate, which was our flagship project, is in the final stages of construction and will be handed over to the respective homeowners in March 2019. All of our housing projects, such as Pinewood, Rosewood, to name just but a few, are in varying stages of development. Karibu Homeowner, Karibu Banda Homes, Banda Builds, Banda Delivers, and clearly, Off Plan Ni True. watching the property show let's continue with the highlight of the sought after upmarket neighborhood one of the highlights in this bustling neighborhood is a project by a seasoned developer known for taking kilimani to maboko westlands to imara daima and now new york to lavington Well, Gitanga duplexes, uh, as the name suggests, is a duplex apartment. It's not your typical uh, apartment of, uh, of one, one level. Where we've tried to mimic a townhouse, even though this is, a, is an apartment. So we basically have two uh, separate uh, floors, a lower level where you have your kitchen, your dining area, your lounge, uh, and the DSQ. On the next level, you have all the rooms uh, and a family area, a family room. We wanted uh, to differentiate ourselves uh, from the market. We listened to our clients. Uh, the, this locality, uh, Lavington, uh, getting uh, a townhouse has become uh, very expensive, next to impossible. You are talking of 60, 70 million and, and upwards. We wanted to offer uh, a set of clientele uh, the luxury of uh, almost owning uh, a townhouse even though it's in an apartment form i think we came close to you know nailing that by giving them the luxury that they expect in a, in a townhouse but uh, at an affordable price same location you know this is a very great location quite convenient uh, so many malls uh, very high end schools and all that
Gitanga duplexes are a modern development located in the heart of Lavington off Gitanga Road. Privileged by its exquisite design and opulent finishes, this elegant residence offers 36 four-bedroom ensuite duplexes. Accommodation includes lower level, spacious living room, dining room, fitted kitchen with detached pantry, guest bedroom on select units, doby area with washing machine provisions, and exterior storage for gas tanks. Upper level, spacious master ensuite bedroom with walk-in closet, two bedrooms ensuite, TV or family room which can be turned into a fifth bedroom. Salient features include two car parking spaces per unit, low maintenance fully glazed UPVC windows, balconies with panoramic views, carbon paved driveways, guardhouse, underground and overhead water tanks. Next, Rose Garden. This beautiful piece of architecture comes with large windows and balconies that brighten up your space wherever you are in the apartment, while the spacious functional rooms are the highlight of this project. And guess what? You'll always wake up to a beautiful scent of roses. Basically, this is the Rose Garden. Very nice, cozy, beautiful homes. There are three bedroom, two bedroom, and one bedroom. In total, 31 units only. Nothing more. We have two levels of parking. The entire uh, other space will be green, open area, purely green. Currently, we only have 10 units for sale. Uh, the rest, basically, have been taken up. Are the 10 three-bedroom units for sale. Uh, each uh, of the units is going at uh, 18 million shillings, that's three bedroom plus a servant's quarter. This is how a complete uh, setup would look like. All the timber is made on site, all these cupboards are made on site. Uh, there's an option in terms of how you can customize the kitchen a little bit in terms of the, the finishing. Rose Garden's apartments offer an intimate feel away from the busy and noisy city life. This quality development comprises 31 units of 6 2-bedroom units, 1 penthouse and 24 3-bedroom units with a plinth area of 1,541 square feet. The project is located on Rose Avenue off Dennisbridge Road, just a few minutes away from various social amenities such as malls, schools, hospitals, just to name a few. Accommodation features include spacious living room with large windows and a balcony area with views of the beautiful Rose Garden, spacious dining area with large windows letting in natural light. A kitchen area fitted with upper and lower wooden cabinets providing storage space locally made granite countertops and a space to fit your normal size cooker. The kitchen leads to a spacious pantry area, more storage space for kitchen supplies. There's also an additional balcony in the kitchen area. Vista's cloakroom, three bedrooms all en suite fitted with handmade wooden wardrobes. A master en suite bedroom with handmade wooden wardrobes for storage space and a balcony. The bathrooms are fitted with WC, a bathroom sink, and high quality tiles giving it a nice finish. And an ensuite DSQ. The three most important factors in real estate is location, location, location. Our final stop on this edition is not only an ideal location, but has good rental returns for investors. Four Points Apartments. of 
two bedroom for a price it's 7.5 that's how it's bought you pay either cash or mortgage a period of 90 days you're given two weeks to do your deposit that is the 10 percent the rest you're given a 90 days period renting you fetch a 55 or 50. we have a lift we have solar panels and we have a borehole and underground parking Four Points Apartments are a stone throw away from the International Livestock Research Institute offices of Naivasha Road. The apartments can be accessed from either Waiyaki Way or Gong Road. The apartments enjoy shopping amenities that include the Junction Mall and Naivasha Road Mall. Residents at Four Points can also get medical assistance from Mid-Hill and Melchizedek Hospital. that makes sense when getting onto the property ladder is good, solid legal and financial advice. Next, insights from experts on board. Uh, some of the important things that a homeowner should look for when investing in property is um, one, ensuring that they are able to get ownership and valid ownership over the property. So that will require a lot of due diligence on their part. Um, and I think they should also look at the contract. I feel like many people don't do that. And just to really understand the terms and the implications of everything in the contract. Generally, you can divide the process into three. So there's a the pre-contractual stage, the contractual stage, and the post-contractual stage. So the pre-contractual stage is where you identify the developer and then now you do your own due diligence. So just to make sure that they are the ones who are actually the registered owners of the property, if it's a company, that it exists, all that. Then now we have the contract um, process. This is where now you negotiate on the terms. So how much you're going to be paying, etc, etc. Then finally, we have the post-contractual um, stage where now property or the interest in whatever you're buying is going to now transfer to you. It's important, very important to engage an advocate, um, first of all, because there are very many processes involved that people may not be aware of. There may be very many costs that may be implied over and above the purchase price that people may not be aware of. So the advocate can just break that down for you. And then. Also, I think it becomes more convenient because then the advocate can run around and at the end of the day, you're the one who is you're going to have the property. You know, when you are buying a house, you need to visit uh, the apartment where you are buying. You're not just buying a cloth, you're buying a, something for, for the near future, something that can be inherited by your, your kids. So you need to visit yourself and to see how, how it is. Just look for a good financer that can work with you all the journey. We do a plot purchase and for plot purchase we do 60%. For home buying, we are buying a home, we do 90%. We also do a construction mortgages, can construct to you a house. And if you construct for you, we do 70%. We also do a mortgage release or a buyout. We buy out mortgages, and for mortgage buyout, we do 90%. And for the period, uh, it's from one year to maximum 20 years. Here is another first hand experience from participants in the bus tour. The bus tour is a great opener because. You people, first Avenue, what you're doing, you pre-selecting from different markets. So you can be able to itemize your, 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 your targets based on your budgets and also the locality you desire to, desire to do. So I encourage anybody who desires to have a home or 
or an asset or something of the sort in terms of property. It would be of help to them because it would be an eye opener. Today you'll be on the back market side, tomorrow you may be on the big road side, the other day you may be on the end, which would not be able to be possible if it were you doing the hoping. Certainly it would be very difficult for you to do the hoping, the whole city, maybe going from this side to the other side, hoping from, from development to development. Some of these places may even not even give you access, they don't know you, but having a reputable farm like First Avenue, doing the due diligence for you before, then walking over with them through the bus tour, it will certainly be of help to anybody. legal representation and due diligence is a must before committing to any property transaction. Here at The Property Show, we are happy to link you with a trusted team of property financiers as well as lawyers. Up next, the home ownership segment. Business matchmaking has become the other name for the property show signature bus tour. Many have been able to pick their dream homes on the tour. Today, we get Rose's experience of switching from a spectator to opening doors of her dream home. Let's listen in. For the bus tour, I would encourage anyone within the area if you're looking for property to invest in, if you're looking for land, definitely go for the bus tour. It opens up your mind. You have access to areas you hadn't thought about. And it's a great way to, in which to also meet financiers and other people who work within the industry so that you know what is available in terms of offers. I'm a mother, a career lady professionally, and I'm also a, a go-getter. I decided to be a homeowner because uh, for a very long time I've paid rent, and at some point I just got tired of the sunk costs. You know, you pay every month, you pay every month, you're enriching someone else. For the first, I think about five or six years, uh, I had a very good landlord, so it was a smooth process. But then the last place I stayed in for about five years was actually the drive that sent me to own my own place because I used to dread the end of the year. I used to get messages, increments, increments, increments. Yeah, so it wasn't a very smooth journey and that purposed me to decide to get my own place. At first, when I decided that I wanted a house, I, I, I thought of building, but then it proved a little bit challenging. So I had bought some plots somewhere but then the logistics of putting up your own place, uh, I found it a little bit too tedious. So I decided to look for uh, a house and I looked at some property that was ready, but then the prices were a bit high. So I decided to look for something off plan. It was not as easy as I thought it would be because uh, most of the locations that I was interested in were very spread out and I didn't want to have to move too far because of the children's school, you know, uh, somewhere where it would be close to work. Uh, so I finally settled on Mombasa Road and I can tell you for a fact I, I moved from Nyayo Stadium to Bachakos Junction. I knew everything that was on that road. It was a two, about two and a half year journey Yeah, when I started looking at property and uh, what used to be my guide was the property show every Sunday I used to tune in check out what is available and then I would make time every weekend to go around looking at the properties. The bus tour for me, it was actually an insight from uh, the property show. So what I did, um, I had already picked on some locations that I was interested in. So when I saw that they were having a bus tour for Mombasa Road, I called, there's a number that is normally displayed, I called and I was booked for. Uh, I was told to pay by Mpesa a thousand shillings and I was up that Saturday to go and look at properties and it was quite insightful for me because some places I hadn't even realized that there were properties coming along that side. So that's how I got onto the bus tour. Um, it was quite insightful because also we went through quite a number of properties that, uh, that day. We got to meet the developers on the ground and I got some contacts and then I made sure I followed up on that. Roughly we saw about nine, ten properties across, mainly apartments and uh, marchionettes along Mombasa Road. 
Um, so one of the major points for me was um, I, I do want an apartment, so I knew I was looking for a marshonet. We looked at about uh, five or so of the marshonets that were spread out. So one of the main reasons why I decided to pick on Mavoko Park was um, the location and then also uh, proximity to you know schools and, um, and my church and my place of work. I'll be honest, Mavoko was not the first, the first option. I had picked about three from the bus tour, yes, I'd picked about three. Now, uh, I made sure that before the end of that week, I went back to look at the property again. I think I went like two or three times to, to, to the properties to look at them again. And then uh, I made sure I also made time now to sit with uh, the developers and see now in case of off plan. Most were looking at uh, at least 18 to 24 months uh, before completion date. But then uh, when it came to now the issue of uh, payment, that is where the catch was for Upland, because I was hoping to save as much as I, as, as I could. Now, most of the developers were insisting that even if it is for off plan, you'd still need to get financing and that they would need the paperwork to be drawn up immediately. Now, I was avoiding that because that would mean that I would be paying for the house and yet I'm, I've not moved in. So the, the saving cost factor would not really have worked for me. But for Mavoko Park, he was the only one who told me, you know what, you can pay what you have for now, book a unit, continue paying in installments until uh, when the project is completed. And then once you complete, based on the balance that you'll have, you can decide whether you want to go for financing or we can work out something on the payment per month. So that flexi plan for me really worked out for me. So I opted for that. In terms of uh, amenities and what they had to offer, I would say for a fact, they were all more or less, um, you know, in terms of location, it was the same. In terms of, uh, of the size and all, it was more or less the same. But then the flexibility from this particular developer was just the clincher for me. The first thing that I did after I had identified uh, what I wanted to purchase was to engage a, lo a lawyer and a valuer so they can be able to advise me whether what I'll be paying for is actually the real value for money. They guided me step-by-step -step process. And also the developer actually gave me their lawyer's contact uh, to advise me on uh, what they would need from my end as we go through the process. So the first thing the lawyer did was the due diligence, uh, was asked to provide documents from uh, the developer, which he provided immediately. In fact, they're very efficient in terms of documentation and provision. He looked at them and within uh, four days, I believe, he had done the search and confirmed that this was a genuine uh, developer, that the title deed was uh, in order, that all the paperwork was in order, so he gave me the go-ahead to proceed. So then I proceeded to pay the deposit, then we drew up the sale uh, offer, the letter of offer, and the sale agreement, which was forwarded to the lawyers. Then once they were through with the paperwork, you now it was just a matter of following, following up with the developer to ensure that you know the time frames that had been stipulated were in order. And I must say that, yeah, they actually kept time, yeah. So the feedback was actually from the developer. I didn't need to, to follow up and, you know, keep on checking, oh, this is late, this hasn't been done. They're the ones who are calling me. I was coming after every two to three months to check with the progress, and it was actually what was ongoing. They sent me photos, you know, updating me every step of the process. So for me, it was, uh, it was flawless. It was a flawless process. You too could be on our next home ownership segment if only you could book a seat on our upcoming property show signature bus tour. Thank you for watching the property show. If you'd like more information on any properties highlighted on the Signature Bus Tour, just give us a call and we'll be happy to get you started. Until next Sunday, this conversation continues on our social media handles. As always, there is something for everyone. Kwaheri!